What's up, people? Your favorite corn surf here back again to talk about a new gun. And this time we have the Galil Ace 52. So, I've not been feeling like building for a while now, and uh, sorry about that, but now we're back, and uh, this time I've got the Galil Ace 52, so let's get into it. Here you got the stock, you got the butt pad, butt pad, pretty standard. Tiny hole here, stock button, press it. Press it and then pull, and it breaks. So you press on it, then you pull, and you've got six positions. There's the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one. Uh, I guess you could just have five. Whoops. Oh, five positions it is. You got the rear sight there. Standard hole. You got the fire selector. Dust cover. Trigger. Grip. Got the trigger guard, mag release. Magazine just rocks in. Got the charging handle. It goes back pretty far. And of course, it operates the dust cover when it moves. And on the other side, you have the ejection port. And you got the ambidextrous safety. That's safe. That's fully automatic, and that's semi-automatic. It doesn't move properly on that side, but what else? Uh, and guard, you got these shapes here. Go on the bottom. And they got a slope here and a gigantic slope here. Also, this star, this part is six that's wide. Then it goes to four, four, and four, and then four and two plates. Yeah. And guard, you got rails here. You got the gas tube going up here. Front sight, you got a yellow prong there. It's one one brick white here that connects the gas tube to the barrel. And then you just got the barrel there. Uh, on the magazine, the magazine is three studs in the middle, two in two in the front and the back, and it just nicely rocks in. Then we have the field strip, which is pretty standard on my guns. So first of all, you got this. You just press this, then you take the dust cover off. Then you just have this spring that you pull out.
and then you have the bolt. And then the gas tube just comes off kind of like so. So now you just have this empty shell. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll maybe see you in, in six months time when I've got another gun for you. So, bye.